Uh, hello friends, this is Alan George and I welcome you to this channel. I do hope you're doing fine. Uh, today I'm going to be sharing with you some of the factors you should want to consider before investing or while investing in any cryptocurrency and especially when investing in any of these higher risk um, altcoins. Altcoins are simply other cryptocurrencies apart from Bitcoin. Uh, right now as I shoot this video we're in the midst of a very bullish season in cryptocurrency and one thing you should know is that it doesn't always happen like this every week or every month or every day you know it's a season and it's a cycle definitely some days there should be the reverse of what's happening now but personally i believe that it's going to extend for much longer because of the caliber of people that are venturing into crypto now many institutions are finding it a, a good use of their resources by venturing into crypto and these people are less emotional they are more they are more um, knowledge driven in their decision making and they have a much longer range perspective when they make investments so i do believe that uh, this season is going to extend for much longer but i must remind you of the fact that i'm not a financial advisor and nothing i say here should be misconstrued for a financial advice they are basically for educational and entertainment purpose alone so with that said, we are in the midst of a very bullish season, and then almost every coin is pumping out. And, you know, you you might be new in this space, and you put your phone into any crypto, and then it pumps hard, and you get good return, and that might give you some false impression about what happens in crypto space, as though that's how money gets to be made so easily. It can be so simple when you know what you're doing, but if you are gambling, you're just trying your luck. You might you might be fortunate right now, but the market has a way of taking back from you what. You took from it without learning so in any sphere where money is being made learning should precede any when you try to end before you learn it often results in some um, catastrophic losses down the road and it doesn't matter how much money you make in the short term so when in the midst of a bullish season looking back at the past you see how bullish the market have been you know there was a crazy bullish season in 2017 which eventually was followed by a bearish season that lasted to 2018 and then there was this consolidation all through 2018 with some pump around 2019 again and then you have it consolidating and then pumping and dumping around that time and then until the ending part of 2020 and we had this crazy move at the peak of that pandemic that's COVID-19 pandemic and then it was a very very major crash and afterwards you have many coins including Bitcoin Bitcoin and many other coins pumping and at the later end of 2020 from October around October you see this crazy move upwards and it's been quite quite incredible since Bitcoin has risen to heights that it had never re you know got to uh, beyond the expectations of so many people with some pullbacks here and there and then it keeps going and stepping upwards and I believe it's going to last for much longer because of a lot of fundamental factors and that is it so but then you will do yourself a great service by ensuring that you learn as much as you can so that you can take advantage of this piece, um, this piece that you are just venturing into because uh, I believe so strongly that cryptocurrency is a revolution and it's going to be here for so so long and then if you are just entering into it now you are still very early trust me you are still very early there are a lot of things that are just coming up the next big thing now is NFT I'm going to take time out to explain what the concept of NFT and how to take advantage of it in subsequent videos and um, there are many innovations like that and what is happening presently is different institutions financial and traditional institutions trying to replicate their products on the blockchain like YouTube for example is already there's already a platform and equivalent on the blockchain like Theta and many other ones like AIOX for example or AIOZ or something they are coming up they are yet to be launched but Theta has been launched on a couple of some other live stream um, um, platforms like 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 that like live peer and the likes okay so in investing in any of these altcoins one of the things you want to understand if you've been around you would have observed this and if you're new you should know this that Bitcoin determines what happens in this piece for now and that's because there's a lot of emotional attachment to Bitcoin being the first cryptocurrency and it popularized cryptocurrencies and make popular the blockchain technology even though right now blockchain technology is way bigger than Bitcoin there are a lot of initiatives more creativity that are taking advantage of the blockchain technology which if you pay close attention to you can you know get good sum from more than Bitcoin could ever give you right now so 
you should always keep an eye on Bitcoin because Bitcoin determines what happens in this space when it sneezes every other altcoin catches code and these are the three basic behaviors that you should pay attention to uh, regarding Bitcoin and the relative behavior of, of altcoins when Bitcoin is um, uh, behaving like this and uh, one of those behaviors is when Bitcoin is pumping very hard for example when it's making any incredible exceptional move that makes the news for example when it's about to break an all-time high somewhere around here for example usually it's going to take the attention of the whole world and the whole crypto space and everybody is looking at it and then if it um, breaks this all-time high you know a lot of people are going to fall more in and having taken the attention of everyone funds are being pulled from even altcoins to bitcoin and since funds are moving away from altcoins you know there's a sell pressure on altcoins altcoins often tend to dump okay and then usually when bitcoin is making a crazy move downwards maybe when it's tanking very hard trust is being lost in the space people are panicking and they are selling off their altcoins too and because many altcoins have lower market cap market cap is simply how much money has been put in a project or has flown into a project or coin over time okay so because they have lower market cap they tend to you know tank more than bitcoin tanks so when bitcoin is making a crazy move upwards especially when it's breaking a, a, a new all-time high maybe a recent high or an all-time high or when it's just making a move that is so obviously crazy a lot of times it takes attention away from altcoins and there is funds being pulled away from altcoins and put into bitcoin and when it's dumping trust is lost in this space and as people are pulling away their funds from bitcoin they're also pu pulling away their funds from altcoins so whether bitcoin is making a crazy move upwards or downwards or altcoins often te tends to also um, tank in both cases but when bitcoin has done making a good move upwards and it starts to consolidate for example you see bitcoin after breaking after um making this good move up here it turns some bits and then if you check it on a lower time frame like four hours if you are not so sure what so this time frame is try to check out some of my one of my videos where i described uh the interface of trading view i think i released that some months back almost a year now so when bitcoin is done making this move up and then a lot of times it has to rest it often tends to rest so when it's consolidating after a big move upwards and it's just moving swinging up and down within a, a small region usually uh, most retail traders tend to feel like oh there's no interesting thing happening in the crypto in to bitcoin now so they consider putting their funds to odds and you see odds starting to pump when bitcoin is just consolidating around it a, you know a region here when it's not making any crazy move and it's it has built some trust here and then now it's just consolidating usually you have odds pumping around these points and when it's usually about to break this new high a lot of times attention is drawn back and what i explained earlier happens all over again so try to understand those steady behaviors is going to help and influence you know um, enrich your decision making like i said these are things that often happen it doesn't happen all of the times there are times when bitcoin is making a crazy move upwards and odds coins some odd coins will also be made moving crazily alongside it and there are times when it's tanking and some altcoins will be moving up in spite of his tanking so there are some exceptional cases these are things that happen most of the times and when you want to invest in the financial space you don't want to look for a strategy that wins all of the times because it doesn't exist anywhere there's no holy grail anywhere so you want to look for a strategy that um, that works most of the times and coupled with good risk management you you are going to make a good headway in your investing so that is it so next is which is what i'm going to share um pay close attention to is now in this space there are if you check coin market cap coin market cap is simply more like the encyclopedia of um, cryptocurrencies alongside coin gecko you can use coin market cap or coin gecko both are both serve similar purpose i use both for example so on coin market cap for example you have over 8,000 cryptocurrencies currently listed and there are many more that are not listed okay many more than just 8,000 that are not listed on coin market cap okay I mean beyond that 8,000 there are some other ones that are not listed on coin market cap so there are thousands several thousands of cryptocurrencies and how do you know which one to actually go for you can research on all of them so I'm going to share in this video how to spot um, the project that you want to pay attention to you want to put on your watch list and then and then um, do some more research in subsequent videos i will uh, discuss some more some other things you consider 
okay so this is coin market cap and you have over 8000 almost 9000 crypto listed this is it and then one of the things you want to do for yourself is study the first the top 10 cryptocurrencies on coin market cap they are the most established cryptocurrencies they have hard trust built around them they are more established they have high market cap you see bitcoin is sitting at about 1 trillion dollars um ethereum is sitting at about 200 billion dollars you see binance coin sitting at about 40 something billion dollars and then this is the change in the last 24 hours you see this is the change that this coins of experience in the last 24 hours these are current prices this is the volume that has been traded in the last 24 hours and then you have the circulating supply you can click any of these to check for more details about it for example you see the details about any coin that you click and you want to observe so by studying these top 10 or top 20 cryptocurrencies you are going to get a pattern as to the nature of these projects and what has helped uh, how they have um, appreciated so far so by understanding the nature of it and how they have appreciated it will help you there's a way to educate your mind to spot newer projects that are coming up that are yet to travel this far you know and one of your advantages in cryptocurrency or in any financial space if you are if you are able to get into a project early enough you are much better positioned to make very very crazy returns unlike when the project is already established and you are just scooping you know some profit from the top so by studying these established and successful products um, projects already you educate your mind and you are better able to spot newer projects so your first assignment as a newbie in this space is try to study these top 10 or top 20 cryptocurrencies on coin market cap and then you can just you know randomly pick some other ones that, that seem to be performing where you can just scroll down and then Awi for example is on my radar and i have some funds put into Awi because i believe the projects behind it and the team that are behind Awi, for example so that's number one the second place where you can spot coins that you want to pay attention you want to look for trending coins because what makes coin appreciate is how many people that are patronizing the coin that are you know buying the coin so you want to look for a coin that is trending and one of the places to spot this is on twitter for example if you go to twitter you are likely going to see you know just follow relevant accounts of people who are reliable and then and, and um, when you see any coin that is trending you don't, you don't just jump into it because it's trending you have to do some other research to be sure that this is not just a scam coin and then it's a coin that is going to be solid but if a project is solid then it has to have a good marketing around it so ensure that it's a coin that many people you know um, would likely troop to so a trending coin is is one of your advantages but it's best to even catch it before the trend spreads so wide you are at a better advantage so one other source of spotting good crypto, especially spotting them early in office, um, ICO drops. These ICO drops, on ICO drops, you have coins, uh, I mean projects that are uh, just starting out, about to be listed, ICO is initial coin offering, so when a project is about to be launched out, usually they offer some coins for say to generate capital to power their project and then they continue from there. So if you are fortunate to spot a good project here, you can get in early enough buy their coin on a pre-sale basis before it's taken public and then uh, you are able to get a good return see these are some active ICOs now that you might want to study and then see which ones meet some of the criteria that I will discuss later maybe in this video in subsequent videos okay these are upcoming ICOs and personally um, having these I have Mina on my radar I'm going to get some good sum of them as much as I can because I believe the project is a more efficient blockchain than Bitcoin, Ethereum. So I believe it's very, very likely to succeed. But that's not a financial advice. Those are my considerations. And I'm going to invest in that um, project, for example. And then these are the ones that just ended. Tether Finance just ended a few days or maybe a day or two ago. Then I saw convergence of this bag, but it was already late. It was about two hours to the end before I saw it on ICO. I was about buying, but it was just too late. And just a few hours after it was listed, the thing did, I think about times 10 or there about some more than that. And um, it's quite painful. And then you have Xen Finance by some team of guys from Nigeria. And it's a very, very outstanding project, bringing corporate to what we call a SUSU in Nigeria, bringing it into the blockchain and then that's what's happening now many institutions are venturing to the blockchain are using blockchain to power the traditional services that are being rendered normally so like i said crypto is already getting bigger than just bitcoin 
Blo the blockchain technology is a very very amazing technology that you can you can take advantage of to to um, power any project that you have any idea that has been existing there are many social media platforms now that are, there are many projects now that are trying to build the social media on the blockchain live streaming section on the blockchain like theta like live peer those are live streaming uh, platforms like um, YouTube but now running on the blockchain in a decentralized manner and there are many platforms Dix Send Finance for example is cooperative what we call cooperative, cooperative um, contributions or Isusu in Nigeria is being run into the blockchain so if for example you had got into it early enough by now you should be on time study of whatever funds you put into it you can check the this are, is you can check ICO stats to see the performance of of past ICOs at least that should encourage you to want to you know pay close attention to this platform and trying to spot good projects you see send finance for example it was listed a few days ago the current price is now two dollars imagine that and then the, when it was issued out then it was it was selling for 30 cents imagine now it has done about 6.7 times in return so any phone you could have put assuming you had put about a hundred thousand around these particular projects it should be giving you about se almost seven times um, it should now be about seven times whatever you put into it if you had been fortunate enough to catch this project and been able to invest in it when it started i became aware of it after it had been launched actually and i will look into it and a good way, look at a good place to to um jump into it but right now i don't think it's wise to enter into it right now it has to cool down before i consider venturing into it so ico dropped this one platform where you can spot good projects early enough one other place where you can get um, where you can spot good projects follow news platforms like Cointelegraph you can daily follow this news and see what's coming up and see what people are doing and then some news can pop up you can follow them on Twitter follow them follow go to their website directly and by reading the news you are you'll be easily kept abreast what's going to happen maybe some projects are coming up some the improvements are coming up on some projects and then you can easily take advantage of that information and uh, one other platform where you can get good information is coin market call this coin market calendar it gives information about upcoming events regarding different cryptocurrencies you can just come here search a keyword for any cryptocurrency after you have spotted some coins maybe on coin market cap that you are interested in or you want to do your research you can come to coin market call and do some further research or maybe you got it from coin telegraph or from twitter and then you see that this project is solid you want to know if there's an, an upcoming event regarding this project and you can come to coin market card and search it out for example let me search for ADA just Cardano that's the ticker for Cardano for example let's see if there's an upcoming event for Cardano so on 31st Cardano is having an event on the 31st of the of March you can add a pay on Shelly Mainnet so there's an improvement that's heard us there's so many upcoming events on Cardano right now which you can you can just read up them and see how it might impact upon the price of Cardano this how to spot good information that can influence your decision if for example you didn't have a Cardano any Cardano in your portfolio we see a good news that looks like this it's a news that will make Cardano appreciate some more you may want to get more right now there are many developments happening on Cardano and which I believe is going to make Cardano appreciate so much and I'm um, putting some funds in Cardano but because because I, I I tend to be more interested in lower market cap coins because they give good returns. I'm more focused on lower market cap now, and I do my research where to ensure that the risks are not too high. Okay. So those are some platforms. Then you can also check out Binance, Binance.com. There's Binance Launch and Binance Research. Those are uh, areas where you can get good information on good coin projects that you want to. Uh, you want to venture into so coin market cap take a study of top cryptocurrencies and you can randomly go down and just study any cryptocurrency that is performing well try to understand why it's performing that that's well okay and then when you understand it helps you it educates your mind so that you can study some other ones before they start performing well and then twitter is a good source of trending coins follow good people follow relevant people on twitter and then coin telegraph is a good source of news where you can spot good cryptocurrencies that you can further research into i'm going to share some more information on things you want to look out for when you are researching a particular cryptocurrency things to look out for like the use cases of those cryptocurrencies like shopping.io for example it's not just a crypto it has a very amazing use case 
that makes me trust that coin super farm is a coin for example i caught it around 1.8 dollars and it's now trading above three dollars that's more than a hundred percent uh yeah that's about almost a hundred percent of the return i put on the funds that i put into it earlier one other coin that i spotted i think at about i think i spotted at about 14 dollars was awif awif is a storage now coin market cap i'm going to share something more later on coin market cap there are different categories here you can these are NFTs. You can go to anything. You can check storage files. I got Awi. Awi is a very, very amazing project. I got into it at about fourteen. At about fourteen dollars, it's now trading at about I think twenty-seven or twenty-eight dollars. That's if over one hundred percent return on how much I put into it at that point in time when I spotted it. So these are lower market cap cryptocurrencies, but they, I have good projects backing them up, and because I did my research well, I was able to spot them. At a relatively earlier stage and at a point where they go and it give you one percent within a week or two or thereabouts some will give you within <laughs> just few days if you if you do your your findings you can make your findings quite well so those are places where you can easily spot good coin projects where you want to venture into this project so subsequently like i said i'm going to discuss some other factors that you want to consider after you have spotted some of these high some of these um projects or coins are likely to have good prospects then what else do you consider you want to consider use cases you want to consider the coin economics you want to consider the partners and you know the some other factors that i'm going to share in subsequent video but in order to keep this video as short as possible i'm going to just stop here be on the lookout for subsequent videos on those other factors to be considered and then i'm going to share some other insight that will help you thank you so much and have a great time and I must remember to tell you, in case you are visiting this channel for the first time, try to click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on some very relevant information. And click on the notification um, bell logo there so that you get the information on a very timely basis because the information shared here are usually very time sensitive. Some things that are valid now may not be valid in the next couple of hours. So it's important you get to be aware of this information early enough. And then in order to achieve that, you must click the notification bell so you get to see this information early enough and follow me on my different platforms on instagram and twitter where i i, I will be dropping some relevant info early enough thank you and have a great time